Thank you, Reverend Coco, for holding the high watch, the whole high space of what? Good morning, of sacred silence. This is what you are entering into and have entered into this morning, the sacred silence. Your inner solitude, your quietude. You're extracting your attention from the world with its stupidities, the vicissitudes of the world of phenomena, and all that would impinge upon our consciousness. As you're entering into the way of meditation, you're beginning to protect your consciousness. That is not allowing into your consciousness to stick that which has been normalized in the world, fear, worry, anxiousness, anxiety, all stacked upon a lie of separation. Now, even though that has been normalized, it is not natural. Your natural state is homeostasis. Your natural state is a innate state of joy and of love, dynamic celebration, supreme intelligence, infinite peace. But the world has normalized the static state of fear and worry based on the lie of separation, which breeds a lie of scarcity that permeates the media, permeates the collective consciousness of humanity. Today, just as you have the ability to opt out of certain things that come across your Facebook or Instagram or your email, it says you can opt out anytime. As you are practicing meditation, you are opting out of the dynamic of the world view of separation. I'm opting out of that. You have that authority. You can give yourself permission to do that. Even though people around you may have been normalizing fear, doubt, and worry, and then the subsidiaries of complaining and gossiping, you can opt out of that. Protect your consciousness so that you're becoming moment by moment by moment imbued with the eternal broadcast of the Holy, Holy Spirit saying in substance, let there be life, let there be light, let there be beauty, let there be intelligence, let there be harmony, let there be order, let there be abundance everywhere because it is. So you're coming into an awareness that you are at the very center of the cosmos because the center is everywhere. Everywhere con contains all of the presence of love and the beauty and intelligence. So a circumference in the absolute does not exist. It only exists in the relative. So you as a spiritual being are opting out of the world view of separation, coming to an awareness that you're at the center, flooded with a tsunami of love and peace and harmony until your new normal is a state of peace and harmony and wholeness. Are you aware that your day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day activities are determined by your state of consciousness? Now heretofore, before you came into this kind of teaching, you may have inadvertently or unconsciously thought uh, that your day-to-day -day activities and experiences were determined by some type of external forces. May have, you may have blamed the world and people and circumstances and governments and things like that out of ignorance. But now with your inner authority becoming more and more strong and you have a, 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 a developed a sense of self-discipline, you are aware that it is your own state of consciousness that determines your experience and nothing else. 
nothing. And so you are protecting your awareness so that your state is a state of unity, wholeness, oneness. Can you imagine waking up in the morning and your room is full of all, all these people rushing around saying all kinds of things and you're trying to, you're trying to get out of bed and, and all these people are talking and, and, and rushing around and, and you can't get any kind of sense of center. Do you realize that people wake up like that? They wake up and they go to, the, go to their social media and they have all these things rushing around in their mind and then they try to have some sense of peace. No. You are to wake up and come to a level of coherence around the fundamental harmony of the universe, your state of awakened consciousness of your oneness with God, so that you're living life from the center, not from the circumference, relatively speaking. Then you can move into the world, but then you are of a higher state, bringing it to the earth plane. Self-discipline, self-love, self-appreciation allows you to determine your state and then that determines your experience. Nothing else, nothing outside of your own state. And so give up your victimhood, give up being controlled by conditions and circumstances the coagulated thought forms of humanity. Have a level of hmm, discipline so that when you go out into the world, you're not just putting on airs and having human dignity. You're going into the world as an ambassador of the spirit, not mere human dignity. You've seen Politicians put that on, and it means nothing. You want to be an ambassador of the spirit. Love, peace, harmony, wholeness, intelligence, kindness, compassion, and generosity, beauty, and more. This is why we sit, to wake up to our glorious nature. to wake up to our intrinsic nature, to wake up to that which is real, eternal, forever, birthless, deathless, forever and ever and ever revealing its infinite nature as each and every one of us. As the Bhagavad Gita reminds us, fire burns it not, water wets it not, wind blows it not away. When you find it, you can't name it, and when you name it, you can't find it. It's everywhere. It's the presence that's never an absence as your real life and real being. Have some level of self-determination. Protect your consciousness. Maintain a state of peace until that becomes your new normal. And then watch as the world changes as it hits your frequency, your vibration, and the condensation of lies based on separation cannot come nigh your dwelling place, for you have made the secret place of the Most High under the shadow of the Almighty your dwelling place. That's where you are to live. Stop every now and then throughout the course of your day so that you don't just drift into human consciousness but you stay in the absolute, the great power, the great presence, and the great love.
great beauty, the great joy of which you are an emanation of. Let's sit. You know what to do. You've been practicing already this morning. You're bringing your attention away from the world of effects. You have a high intentionality to wake up to your glorious nature. Your attention is embracing the intention and your breath of the body temple, which is present. You have the deep, deep listening. Your internal listening, hearing without ears, seeing without eyes, the eternal broadcast of the spirit, leaning into it, and sitting for these few moments as if this is the very first time you've ever practiced the art and the science of meditation. Be still and know that I am God in the midst of you.
moment of sacred silence, be still, opt out of the world, worldly consciousness, opt in to you being the very center. You are a center in the heart mind of the infinite. this expanded state of awareness there is a natural gratitude that becomes active in us from this sacred silence this pure stillness we notice how grateful we are simply to exist simply because we are alive Oh, this state of gratitude is profound. It's the panacea to so many ills of the mind. It's the antidote to egocentricity. We become grateful and hum spiritual humility happens. We become grateful and our perceptual windows become clean and clear and we see as if on a clear day. Oh, come with me into the land of gratitude. As we recognize the great presence that is everywhere, beating our heart, singing through us, living through us, breathing through us, talking through us, acting through us, being itself as us. And we become so aware that we're one with God that we're able to say, I am that. I am that which thou art, and thou art that which I am. And the, and the word that is spoken from this expanded awareness is a word of God, spoken with the authority of one knowing that all that there is is God and that everything that truly is is a manifestation of the only thing that is, I speak it for each and every one of us today, knowing there's only one of us here, that we're free and liberated, 
A divine health is the order of our day mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, in every area of our relationships. There is health and harmony and wholeness. And anything that would hinder this is dissolved into the no thingness from which it has come. And we can say today never to exist again. We stand in this awareness of our innate freedom. All of life is rushing to this point called us to reveal itself as us and we give it full permission. We say yes to it. We allow it to be. Nothing in us is inhibiting the fully franchised expression of infinite good. Everything within us says, yes, I am. Yes, I can. Yes, I'm willing. Yes, I'm able. Let it be me. And we allow this to be. Oh, what a beautiful day this is. It's glorious in every way. And we go forth this day participating in it fully and completely, allowing the sunshine of this moment to shine through us. For we are the light. The light that lights up every man, every woman, every he, every she, every them, every they, every individual that comes to the planet. The same light that was found in Yeshua ben Joseph and all the avatars, that light is us. We let our light so shine before each and every individual that when they see us, when they even hear about us, they see and hear about the presence of God. And it's all happening right now. Oh, I feel it in my bones. The tuning forks of the body temple vibrating with beauty and health, resilience, regeneration, rejuvenation. Renewal, vitality, vigor, flexibility, strength. All of this is happening right now. Oh, accept it for yourself. Accept it. Accept it. Accept it. I give thanks for this and allow it to be so. And so it is. Amen. And amen. We slowly open the physical eye to match the openness of our, what is called the third eye, but metaphysically we know it's the first eye because we are spiritual beings first, earth plane existence second. So the first eye is open now, the other two eyes open now. We recognize the presence in each and every one of us. And this is our opportunity to leap into the consciousness of abundance through the exercising of our generosity muscles. We don't shirk at this particular time. We leap into the possibility of being a giver so that we can permanently sustain our, our prosperity and the awareness that all of our needs are met through giving, through generosity. And so we just take an instant of prayer and we give thanks for all that we have to give. We bless it. It's multiplied by our giving. We dedicate it to the knowing of truth that makes us free. For freely life has been given us and freely we circulate it every opportunity that we get. And so it is. Amen. Great gratitude to all of you who continue to sustain the community through your generosity. Those that gave during the... Uh, fundraising opportunity in celebration of my appearance day, those that continue to give through the auto tithe program and setting your text to donate for regular giving on a weekly or bi-weekly uh, basis. Thank you so much. Veterans, you already know how to give. Please go forth and multiply the consciousness of the all good. Everyone else, listen to me. It's, if, you, if this is your opportunity to begin your giving process, and it is, because it's always a uh, right time to be a giver. 
Take what you have to give in consciousness, bless it. And you can give by this way. There's a couple of ways that you can give. Texting to donate. Text the word give to 424-321-6243. Everything that I'm about to tell you is going to be on your screen for those who are sighted. Text the word give to 424-321-6243. Your phone will prompt you. You will choose the amount and the regularity of your giving. Please do it right now. If you would like to give on our website, perhaps you're on our YouTube channel, my personal YouTube channel or Agape's YouTube channel, you can leap over to our website right now, agapelive.com. Plus, it'll give you a lot of information about what's going on in the community. See the donation right at the top. Hit that. And uh, again, it'll prompt you. It'll show you, follow the instructions, and you can give right on the website. You can give on our Facebook page. It's my personal Facebook page. It says public or Agape's Facebook page, Agape International. You can give on the, on, on, on the Facebook page. You can mail it in. You can make your checks and money orders out to Agape International at 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Beverly Hills, California, at 90211. All of this is on your screen. You can take your phone right now and you can, some of you have your everything hooked up to your television so you're watching it on the big screen. Some of you are watching it on your computer. You go right to the QR code, it's right there. Take your camera aspect of life and point it in the direction of the QR code and follow the instructions. Many of you have begun to play around with that and give on the QR code. Even though you've been texting and donating, you're playing with it and giving a little bit more, and we like that. You like it. Your soul likes it. Our financial committee likes it. Do it. Be great givers today. Okay? Okay? Good. Reverend Julie? Good morning. You can visit agapelive.com for details on all items mentioned and all times are Pacific time. The Agape International Choir and Global Choir begin auditions next Sunday, September 4th through September 17th. If you are a singer or love to sing, interested in sharing your voice, building community, and experiencing the great joy of participating in the music of Agape, visit agapelive.com forward slash global choir for details on both choirs. This is an invitation for Agape members here in the Los Angeles area and all around the world. Join together and raise the vibration on the planet in harmony and song, visit agapelive.com forward slash global choir or email choir at agapelive.com for more information. After today, mark your calendars, tell your friends, join us for our next in-person service, Sunday, September 18th, meditation at 11 a.m. followed by worship service at 1130. And as always, all services will be live streamed. Are you seeking spiritual insight and advice around your relationships, finances, health, life purpose, or an understanding events in the world? Email Reverend Michael at podcast at michaelbeckwith.com and your question may be featured during his Life Question of the Week segment in his upcoming new podcast, Take Back Your Mind. It's a good idea, right? Launching in the coming weeks, so stay tuned to submit your question. Limit your submission to one question only. Selected questions will be edited for clarity and conciseness. Mention your location, city, state, country, and your first name only. Also, please know we cannot personally reply to all emails. Today, Tinagape meets online at 11.15 a.m. Click the Tinagape banner on our website to register. Preteens ages 9 to 13 meet at 2 o'clock. Children ages 3 to 8 meet at 3.30. Both are live on Zoom. To join and get your Agape Youth Fun Packs, email revlion at agapelive.com. Also, Agape in Espanol is in session and invites you to join every Saturday at 8.30 a.m. That's todos sábados a ocho y media for meditation and affirmative prayer exclusively in Spanish on Agape's Facebook page. Si? Si? Que bueno. 
Okay, the Crisis Support Clinic offers Zoom mini counseling sessions every Monday from 4 to 6 p.m. To receive details for your first come, first serve complimentary one on one session with a licensed practitioner, email crisis support at agapelive.com. This is offered to the community at large and anyone may attend. Monday through Saturday, we've got you. You can join Facebook Live meditation at 12 noon and prayers at 8 a.m. That's Monday through Saturdays, and Agape Spiritual Community Gatherings meet on Fridays at 5.30 p.m. Connect in community for an enriching, inspiring gathering led by our practitioners and ministers. Email scg at agapelive.com. And finally for today, dance with the Rev. Get those endorphins flowing. Shift your mood. Show us your moves in a one-minute video dancing during a Sunday service. Upload it using the banner on our Agape website. You may see yourself hashtag dance with the Rev on social media and on on Sundays. Many blessings to you. Thank you, Reverend Julie Moret. You've heard the good news. Let's turn within and let's give thanks for the inflow and the influx of harmonizing prosperity, wealth, and abundance through the offering and the tithing and the gifting and the donations happening even now to and for the Agape International Spiritual Center to become a strong birthplace of the beloved community. And it's all happening now, and so it is. And so it Amen. Is. Thank you for joining. You've heard that the next in-person will be September the 18th, 11 a.m. If you're listening today, August 28th, we have an in-person service this afternoon or this morning at 11 a.m., Meditation, 1130 worship service. So if you're in Los Angeles or the Los Angeles area and you want to come worship with us in person today, August 28th, 11 a.m., yes, you can. Come on, come on up. I would say come on down, but we're up. <laughs> way up. <laughs> we're way up here, this high frequency of unconditional love. So come on up and celebrate with us today at Agape International. It's still going to be live stream for those of you all around the globe tuning in. So as you stand up where you are, just all over the globe, just stand up and be available to feel the frequency of letting go, of surrendering. I forgive me. I forgive they. I forgive them. I forgive everyone. I'm tired of the guilt. Because we're, we're, we're through with guilt. That brings me pain. We're through with guilt that brings us pain. Now is the time for me to let go. Now is always the time for us to let go of, of shame for that. That's not a spiritual practice. The past is behind us. We're seeing anew. I'm ready. We're ready. We're ready for our change, our transformation, our unfoldment, our conscious evolution. We're ready. We're ready. Now we are prepared vibrationally. I forgive me. I forgive me. Everything. Everything that I've been holding on to. I, I, let, I go. let go. I surrender. Oh, I surrender. I surrender. I'm ready. I'm prepared. Is in this consciousness of the all good that we give. We give thanks. And we stay in the supreme affirmation. I am, I am, and I am. And we allow it to be so. And so it is. Amen. Have a bright and wonderful day.